good day friends the other day a young person wrote to me that modern science has disproved god and he wanted my response so consider this as my response the young person who wrote this letter to me i am sure that you are one of the listeners and uh, let me tell you a personal story about 20 years ago i was in an exhibition actually it was a christian exhibition and i was managing a christian bookshop a young person came from the nearby engineering college and he saw me standing there and he said sir oh you look like a bible believer i said yes i am a bible believer he said sir i have been reading the bible and i have marked the whole bible and i don't believe in god and that is why i marked the whole bible and now i am ready to prove to you that there is no god so i said fine if you want to prove to me that there is no god uh, then you are most welcome and there are many others who tried before you so i'll give a chance to you also so you also try your best and then i asked him tell me one thing you are a, an engineering college student so would you be proving it to me on the basis of theology or on the basis of science and he immediately said sir i'll be proving to you on the basis of science i said fine i would love to see someone uh, who who would prove to me on the basis of science that god doesn't exist so i said let us uh, fix a time and he said he would be very happy to visit me just the next day we fixed up a time and he came he faithfully he visited me at the time that we had fixed for, fixed with each other i welcomed him very happily he came sat in our living room and i told my wife to get a cup of tea ready and he was very happy that uh, um a theist like me gave such a welcome to an atheist like him and then i said okay now let's uh, get into the subject you said you are a student of science isn't it he said yes sir and uh, you would like to prove on the basis of science that god doesn't exist he again said yes sir i said fine uh now once we start our conversation you should not change he said no sir i am not going to change i am going to prove to you on the basis of science and science alone that god doesn't exist i said fine and then i said uh listen science proves everything on the basis of experiments and that also repeated experiments isn't it he said yes sir science proves everything on the basis of experiments so i said now since you would like to prove that god doesn't exist tell me which is the experiment or which are the experiments that prove that god doesn't exist and i said listen science doesn't depend or the pro- or proofs of science do not depend upon a single experiment they depend upon a repeated experimentation or at least the same experiment repeated many times he said yes sir i understand what you are saying and then he started thinking and then he scratched his head for a few moments and then he said uh, sir no let's discuss it in a different manner i said what in what different manner are you going to discuss because in science everything is proved or disproved based upon repeated experiments then i gave him an example um there is this uh, uh, famous michelson morley experiment with the help of which they proved or demonstrated that the universe is not filled with a perfectly elastic fluid till that time they were all under the impression and this theory was very common that the whole universe is filled with a perfectly elastic fluid and that it is oscillations in that fluid that causes light michelson morley experiment once and for all 
demonstrated that such a fluid doesn't exist. And that experiment has been repeated tens of thousands of times since Michelson and Morley performed that experiment. I, I too have performed that experiment a number of times in physics laboratory when I was doing my MSc. He said yes, he knows about the Michelson Morley experiment. So I said whether to prove that something is true or to prove that something is not true, science depends upon repeated experiments. Now you want to prove that God doesn't exist and you want to prove it on the basis of science. So now show me the experiment on the basis of which either you or somebody else proves or demonstrates that God doesn't exist. That was the time he realized that all his enthusiasm, all his um, Mm, what should I say, arguments or all his uh, um, willingness to argue on the basis of science really did not have a basis at least in his mind. Then again he said, sir, uh, well I don't know of any experiment but let us do it this way. You give me proofs of God's existence and I'll uh, oppose all of them, I'll show that all of all of those proofs are wrong or none of those proofs is valid. I said, young man, number one, I never claimed that science offers a proof for the existence of God. Number two, I did not come to you asking you to believe in God. I, I did not say that I'll give you any kind of proof. It is you who approached me. You who said that you are a student of science and that a student of science cannot believe in God and you it is you who claim that you would argue with me and on the basis of science that you would prove that God doesn't exist, isn't it? He said, yes sir, that is true. But now I'm, I'm, I'm finding some difficulty and once again he tried to press me, sir, you give me all the proofs for existence of God and I'll show that those proofs are not valid. I said, listen, number one, if I give a couple of proofs and if you prove that all of them are invalid, it only proves that the proofs that I gave are invalid. It doesn't automatically prove that God doesn't exist, number one. Number two, I did not come to you with any claims. It is you who came to me with the claim that science has disproved God and therefore you have to prove it to me. After much thought, he realized that he was standing on a losing ground. He said, sir, do, let us do one thing. I'll think it over. Give me some time and I'll come back to you. I said, fine, perfectly all right. Um, because if a person is ready to offer an evidence and if he wants some time to collect himself or uh, um, sift through the evidences, he should be given time, so I would be very happy. And then we had a cup of tea and very happily we parted our ways. And he said, sir, sir, I'm not running away. I'll very definitely come back to you one of these days. I said, yes, I know. I, I, I know what is going to happen. I'll wait for you. And then he went away happily. I didn't want to disappoint him. So he went away happily. And friends, it has been more than, to be exact, to be precise, it has been more than 22 years. I've been waiting for that young person. He has not come back. Do you know why? All these people, some of them ignorant, some of them rationalists, some of them radicals, they make a big claim, they make a big show of science and say that science has ultimately disproved God, science has completely disproved God and they do not even pause to think that science proves and disproves with the help of experiments and there is no single experiment in the world of science which has ever disproved God. That is the reality. So if you are one of those young people who think that science has disproved God, rethink about it. 
if you are one of those young people who have been terrorized by others with the claim that science has disproved God, don't worry. Ask exactly which experiment disproved God and you would get only silence. Thank you for listening to me so patiently. Send your questions. I would be very happy to answer them via videos as soon as possible. God bless you.